Hi, Facebook. This is our fifth video Q&A. Uh, an impromptu video q and I give you 30 minutes to ask questions. You asked a bunch. I haven't read them yet, so if I skip one, it's because I can't answer it. Um, we're actually going to be broadcasting the video on Husay, which is a service that I enrolled in this week and I really enjoy so far. I'm in Vancouver, joined by a glass of water and some gluten-free, dairy-free, egg-free, taste-present cookies that, um, chocolate chip cookies that our lovely director for the Aero Pilot, David Nutter, picked up for me. It's very nice of him. These are actual questions from actual Facebook friends. Here we go. If I don't answer your question again, I'm sorry. And if I mispronounce your name, I'm sorry. Jason asks, what's your typical day? Jason Charles Russ asks. Uh, well, we're shooting. Uh, we're shooting five day weeks. I have one day off, which is today. And then typically the second day of the weekend, I'm going to be prepping for something uh, that we're shooting that week. So uh, tomorrow I have um, uh, I have some rehearsal, I have some choreography, I have some lunch, I think I have some more rehearsal, and then we travel because we're shooting at a different location uh, for the first couple of days of this week. And there's a lot of exercise when I'm on set, and there's a lot of exercise when I'm not on set, and sleep. That's the regime. Uh, next question is basically similar. Um, Mac asks how I feel about homophobia and bullying. Uh, I, I feel um, the way that everybody should feel. I think it's preposterous that it exists in this day and age. And um, I think that it generally reflects um, a poor constitution on the part of the person that is either homophobic or a bully or both. I mean, if you're not fine with people being however they want to be, then obviously you're not fine with yourself. Stephen Moore asks, do you still follow the Toronto Maple Leafs? No. With as much sadness as the rest of us do who are still in Toronto. No. I think that it's awful that, uh, that a... Um, that a Toronto sports team can't seem to get anything going in the right direction. Um, I, I mean, I watched the Raptors a couple of times only because I'm up in Canada now, and I like basketball, and it, they're just, they're awful. Like, they're, they're, a, they're a, a really sort of um, pitiful, second-rate excuse for a team. I don't know any other way to put it other than to say that I look at it objectively, and the chasm between say, a team like the Miami Heat or the Los Angeles Lakers or the Chicago Bulls. Um, and I'm not talking about just talent on the court. I'm talking the, the general makeup of the organization, the way that they market themselves, the way that uh, the in-game uh, entertainment is displayed, the quality of the announcers. It's a second-rate franchise. I don't know how this turned into a lecture on the Raptors, but they used to be my favorite team, and I think that it's really sad that they've basically boned their fans for the past 17 years. Next question. Uh, Katie would like to know if there's a reason why the CW uses the same actors in multiple shows, uh, or is it pure coincidence, good casting? That's not a CW trend, that's a network trend. Um, just because someone's on a show that doesn't work doesn't mean that the network doesn't think that they're a good actor. Uh, you see this all the time at HBO. Actually, there was a really cool uh, drawing that was on Grantland.com. If you email HBO Grantland or Google HBO Grantland actors, they actually created a drawing that showed all the different actors that starred on different HBO shows and how they sort of crisscross. And it was really interesting. So it's not a CW thing. It's not a coincidence thing. You do a good job for a network, and they like to be in business with you, just like any other business. Josh Allen asks if I like pancakes, and he knows the answer to that question. Uh, Christina, what is your favorite song at the moment? It's that song, When uh, We Were Young. Where is it? When We Were Young. Da, 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 da. I have it on my workout playlist.
Yeah, We Are Young featuring Janelle Monet by Fun, maybe? I don't know. It's, it's like one of the uh, number one songs on iTunes right now. I really like it song. Um, if you were to shoot a commercial, which product would you want it to be for? This is a question from Medi. Um, I don't know. I'm not drinking beer anymore. I would have said beer previously. Um, maybe BMW, because I drive an old BMW. It'd have to be a product that I like. Maybe I could take over Justin Long's um, campaign, where he was the Mac and someone else was the PC. Maybe we could update that. That'd be kind of fun. Jody would like to know what type of music I'm listening to while I'm working out, and to not forget to do these videos uh, at a later date. Uh, I'm really into dubstep. I make no apologies for this. When I was training uh, at the Tempest Free Running Academy in, in California, they played dubstep all the time, and um, I, I, I really like working out to it. I don't know what to say. Um, Cedric would like to know uh, if I'm glad to play Arrow. Yes. Uh, and the next question is, how's the new suit? Stay tuned to see if there's a suit. Um, Caitlin would like to know if I could have dinner with anyone dead or alive, who would it be and why? I want to have dinner with Chuck Klosterman. Actually, I want to be buddies with Chuck Klosterman. We're close enough in age. Um, and maybe he's a big comic book fan. This can still happen. So I'm going to say Chuck Klosterman uh, in lieu of a couple of other people just in case he sees this. Uh, Ava asks, if being an arrow means that I can't do other things, I can't do anything else right now. And uh, if we go to series, uh, this will be my main focus. Obviously, it's a dream job. So, not thinking about anything else right now. Uh, Mark would like to know if I have any uh, books to recommend. I'm reading an interesting book right now called The Possibility of an Island that was recommended to me via Twitter by Chad Culchin, who is one of my favorite authors. So I would recommend all of Chad Culchin's books, which are in order, um, The Average American Male, The Lie, Men, Women, and Children, all of which I like for different reasons. I think I like Men, Women, and Children the best. And then The Lie second, and then Average American Male first, which actually just goes to show that he's getting better as as he goes along. I think his writing is wonderful. Also, The Visible Man by Chuck Klosterman. Not The Invisible Man, The Visible Man. Um, okay. Andrew has a bunch of questions. He would like to know the favorite part of the arrow shoot so far. First day, first scene. It was awesome. Uh, have I done any reading to get ready for the part? Yeah, I did a ton of reading. And I actually really need, I got to meet Jeff Johns, who um, uh, is the creative director of uh, DC Comics. And uh, we got to talk a little bit about comic books. And um, I talked to him a little bit about my uh, future brother-in-law, who is a big comic book fan. And it was just really interesting to get to know him. So... Uh, um, I did some reading, and I also got to talk to the guy that, you know, makes the decisions at DC Comics, so that was pretty neat. Um, uh, okay, next question. <laughs> Taylene would like me to just look into the camera for five seconds and smile. I've been doing that throughout the course of the video Q&A, so we won't actually take a separate moment to to, to, um, to do that. What is your favorite perfume or cologne? I'm not a big fan. I used to wear Dolce & Gabbana. I wore Dolce & Gabbana for like 10 years, and now even the slightest whiff of Dolce & Gabbana, um, it's not that it smells bad. It's just a bad sense memory for me, and I don't like when women wear perfume. I, I want them to 
smell like they would normally smell. Uh, Danielle would like to know if I have any charities that are near and dear to my heart. I did a little work for Variety Village in Toronto uh, when I was growing up, and uh, I haven't actually found anything um, in in the in the present day um, that I have an interest in. If I ever get to a point in my life where um, well, I guess anyone can affect a charity at any point in time, but um, if I ever get to a sort of a, a public position where I could uh, maybe drive people towards a charity, I'd happily take suggestions um, because I, I know that everyone thinks that w whichever charity they support is the best. And the good news behind that is everybody is right because there is no best. Uh, it's, it's the one that you're interested in. So nothing comes to mind right now, although Variety Village in Toronto is still doing really good work. So still then for the time being. Danielle also asks uh, if you are superstitious at all. No, absolutely not. <laughs> oh, Megan. Uh, if Arrow is picked up, uh, will it shoot in Vancouver? That depends. Um, I know that Vampire Diaries shot here, and they ended up in Georgia. So uh, it, it depends a little bit on a bunch of things that are well beyond my understanding and pay grade and um, depth. And we're just worrying about making a good pilot. And if it goes to series, if we get to episode two, I don't care where the blank it is. Uh, although, that being said, I, I really am enjoying myself in Vancouver, and I think that the city lends itself well to the... Um, style and feel and mood of the show. I do not believe the world is ending on December 21st. Um, since landing the role of Arrow, what accomplishments are you most proud of? The first four days. Uh, the first four days. That's it. Oh, this is a good question to end on. And it's the last question, so there we go. Uh, if you could have a power, what would it be and why? It's a toss-up between flying, which seems like a lot of fun, and being able to read people's minds. At gunpoint, I'm going with flying. You wouldn't, if you picked flying, you're never going to be flying through the air or up towards space or to the Caribbean for a weekend and be like, ah, oh, I wish I could read people's minds. But if you went the other way and you picked reading people's minds, you know, when someone says something to you and then you read their mind and you realize they were lying and this sort of dampened your faith in humanity, at that point, you'd be like, ah, I wish I could fly. That's it. Uh, enjoy the rest of your Wednesday, everybody. And thank you for all the questions. And thank you for all the continued support on the page for Arrow and for everything else. And um, we will do this again soon. All the best. Bye-bye.